Just a reminder that all proceeds from this channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here, and we just returned from an outstanding trip to Costa Rica with Trip With a Purpose. You know that we are all about meaningful and healthy travel. Trip With a Purpose has a similar mission to us. It's not just where you go, but how the journey shapes you, and even more importantly, how we impact the places we visit. This itinerary allowed us to not only support local communities and conservation projects, but we were able to immerse ourselves in the culture of Costa Rica. During our trip, we met some great people. We made many new friends, both human and otherwise, saw some incredible sights and learned so much. We plan to bring you a series of videos showing you our stops along the itinerary, interviews with TWP, our guide, locals, and more. Stay tuned and Pura Vida! First, let's bring you the highlights of our visit to the Toucan Rescue Ranch, which is so much more than just toucans. We met the founder, learned a lot about local wildlife, and TWP made a donation on our group's behalf. So let's get to it. Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here, and we are at the Toucan Rescue Ranch right outside of San Jose, Costa Rica. And we're here with Trip With A Purpose. More to come. Luxury Travel Docs here today with Trip With A Purpose and one of its founders, Mike Slattery. We're here today at the Toucan Rescue Ranch. Mm -hmm. How did you find this and uh, how long have you been coming here? So uh, we actually only discovered this uh, last year. I did a couple of documentaries, wildlife documentaries in Costa Rica. Um, and we, we knew we wanted to do a documentary just focused on sloths. And even though it's named the Toucan Rescue Ranch, the, the, the mission, uh, central to the mission here is the protection and the preservation of sloths. So that's how I got introduced to, to this facility. And it, uh, we thought it would be a great idea to make this our first stop on the itinerary so people can get to understand um, the complexity, the cost, the intricacies of conservation and what the illegal trafficking of wildlife looks like and, and you know how that uh, you know how that gets um, facilitated by the locals here uh, and then we go out and try and see many of these animals uh, in the wild. The one thing that is really important for our company is that as part of the cost that's included is to give back to right. organizations like this. So we'll be making a donation directly to the Toucan Rescue Ranch, uh, which again helps in their in their conservation mission. So again, it's it's really neat that not only are you taking a trip that obviously is educational for you and has purpose and meaning, but more importantly, part of the funds that you're used uh, for purchasing it goes back to the organizations to help with conservation. Let's look at some of the rescued wildlife that we saw up close and personal. A Tyra is a member of the weasel family and is about two feet long on average, and you may notice is very playful. Sloths can be identified by the number of claws on their front limbs. This is a two-toed sloth that we were able to get up close and personal with. Yes, sloths move very sluggishly and slowly, and they even digest food slowly. But when they're threatened, those front claws can become a weapon, much like a cat's. Some other interesting things that we learned about sloths are that they do love to eat hibiscus. It's almost like a treat like chocolate or ice cream might be for us. Also, believe it or not, they poop only once a week and usually they'll make an arduous journey from the top of the trees down to the forest floor in order to do so. Another thing that we learned, which really kind of seems impossible, are that sloths are very good swimmers. Unfortunately, sloths have really been threatened by things such as electrical wires or moving vehicles, and that's where places like the Toucan Rescue Ranch come into play. We were able to see a number of parrots up close and personal that have been saved by the Toucan Rescue Ranch, and this is really nice to be able to observe them in this way because normally when we were out and about in Costa Rica, the parrots were there, but were up in the trees. Next, we were able to see a group of spider monkeys who were very curious about us. 
we were warned to stay away from the spider monkeys because they love to steal things like hats off of your head. Their spider name was inspired by their long spindly limbs and they use their tail as almost a fifth limb. They use those tails to hold on to just about everything, but we did see a monkey who had lost his tail and had been rescued by the Toucan Rescue Ranch and he got along just fine. Another interesting fact about spider monkeys is that they do not have a thumb like many primates. This little guy was very calm and serious, but he was checking us out pretty closely. We bet you didn't know that spider monkeys are one of the smartest monkeys on the planet. Of course, next we were on to the toucans. We didn't realize that there were several different species of toucans in Costa Rica. During our journey, we saw several toucans in the wild, but they were usually very high up in the trees. So this was really a treat to be able to see several toucans up close and personal. And honestly, they were very curious about us. After seeing the yellow-fronted toucan, we went on to see the keel-billed toucan. With its rainbow-colored bill, we thought this one was the closest to Toucan Sam of Fruit Loops. This is the fiery billed Arakari, which is yet another type of toucan. Felicia, the ocelot, was sleeping comfortably and wanted nothing to do with us. The blue and gold macaw is more of a South American bird and not really native to Costa Rica. However, the Toucan Rescue Ranch was able to help one of these from animal trafficking. And this particular one was the star of the show. The scarlet macaw is more commonly seen in the western part of Costa Rica, while the green macaw is commonly seen in the eastern part of Costa Rica. Yes. This is Robin, and Robin is a juvenile three-toed sloth. Three-toed sloths are smaller than the two-toed sloths that you saw earlier. Robin is part of the nursery program at the Toucan Rescue Ranch. We were able to meet Leslie Howe, who is the founder and executive director of the Toucan Rescue Ranch. Leslie is from Nevada in the United States, and she gave us a tour of the nursery and let us meet Robin, who is one of its newest patients. Also, Leslie told us how you at home, even without visiting Costa Rica, can check this in on patients Robin like Robin is, and other um, animals at the Toucan Rescue old Ranch. Sweet toed sloth, baby, and he came in around Christmas time, and um, he is not using his arms and his legs that well in terms of coordinating. And we noticed that after a while, that instead of like the sweet toed sloths, they should have a grip you know, that goes like this with all three in line. Um, his are kind of like this fanned out. So he's really having a hard time also gripping. But we have him with physical therapy treatments and they actually do acupuncture and laser on him and it helps. And the other day they came and um, we had some video of him like laying on the table, just, you know, going, oh, with the lights. So and, happy. Um, and he enjoys it. And then the next day he was actually pulling himself up on the ropes that we have for exercise. So we were all very excited. <laughs> we were all taking videos and we were like, oh my God, look at Robin. <laughs> so yeah, he's making some progress. So uh, where was he found? He was found um, in, I think he came from the, the Sadapiki area, right? Yeah. yeah, Sadapiki is over by our release site. It's just an hour from here. Uh -huh. Like on the Caribbean slope, mm -hmm. yeah. without a mom. A lot of the times, so this is our, nursery and we had different sloths in the different buckets all the way around the porch and they're all babies here that are orphans and um, we raise them until well he, he told you probably in the tour until they're like two years old and then they go out as part of the program um, and also if you want to check in on the babies at any time we have three cameras that are with explore.org and so that's one of the cameras that's on the porch all day long. And you can see the babies and see how they're doing and watch them climb around. And then we also have another camera here so that once the babies are in the trees, you can see them there in the trees. And we also have a baby crocodile really? <laughs> down there. <laughs> yeah. Can you see the that's baby crocodile on the, on the, from camera? the camera? And, uh, and then we have another camera in with the two cans. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's kind of fun to go on explore.org explore and, and see the, the cameras. Excellent. Yeah. But this is little Robin. Robin. You can see the, um, you saw the adult. 
you know, two yeah. toes. So you can see yeah. there's a, a really big difference between the two and the three. Yeah. Yeah. The three, everything, lots of differences. Everyone's been asking us, how can we help? And so we met with Andrea Vargas, who is the tour coordinator at the Toucan Rescue Ranch. She told us about the various fundraisers that they hold throughout the year, like the Ironman Sloth Games. But she also told us about their most recent fundraiser to make the Toucan Rescue Ranch more accessible to those who are mobility challenged. Hey, we're here today with Andrea asking about uh, some of the programs that they have, not only fundraising, but some of the things they're looking to uh, diversify the visitors. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm the tour coordinator here at the ranch, and so right now, something that is really, um, you know, close to my heart is a fundraiser campaign that we have going on, which is that we're trying to raise funds so we can be more accessible to our public, and so we want to build a wheelchair accessible pathway. Um, we're like not really close to the to the matching funds yet. Um, you can find more information on our website, toucanrescueranch.org. Okay. Uh, we have a Mighty Cause campaign going on right now, and it's going to be, um, you know, going on for a, a couple months um, still. So hopefully we're going to get to the goal, and hopefully we're going to get to, you know, build this accessible pathway. We're planning it for it to, to be, like, super cool and, like, looking super nicely and everything. So. We're going to put a link on our website to their charitable fundraising site and for more information about this to help make meaningful and healthy travel happen for more people and hopefully help your visitors. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed our visit to the Toucan Rescue Ranch with Trip with a Purpose. And stay tuned for more videos of our trip around Costa Rica with TWP. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen and we'll see you next time.